six. That's some kung fu math right there. <laughs> okay, now, 56 divided by eight. How many eights go into 56? It's right there. How many eights go into 56, Charlie? Seven. Seven of them, that's right, because eight times seven is 56. See, if you know your multiplication tables, then you know how to do these division problems, right? Okay, now how about 59 divided by eight over there, Charlie? Don't get scared. Use the force. Okay, watch. Well, we just, we know that eight times seven is what, Charlie? 56. 56, that's right. And how many units are left over? If we're at 56 and we're trying to get 59, how many is left over, Charlie? Three. Three. So our answer is seven with a remainder of three. Kung Fu math. That's <laughs> right. All right. Five times 13, Charlie. Now, don't get scared. Think about what it means. Five times 13 means you have 13 of these fives all being added together. Well, Charlie, five times 10. We know that if we have 10 of these fives added, that's 50. That's five times 10. And how many fives are left over over there? Three. Three, which gives us the 15. We're actually looking at 13 in its expanded form, and we're distributing the five, right? 13 in expanded form is 10 plus three. 5 times 10 is the 50, and 5 times 3 is the 15. Okay, it's there. And 50 plus 15 is what, Charlie? 65. 65. That's some kung fu math for you there. Right there. <laughs> All right. So 5 times 30, 13 is 65. So 65 divided by 5. How many 5s go into a 65, Charlie? 13. You can't miss it. It's 13 because 5 times 13 is 65. There you go. All right. Now, let's look at the long division form. Okay. Well, 65, and we're taking a 5 and dividing it into it. All right. Now, watch this. The way we're taught to do this is you say, okay, 5 goes into 6 how many times, Charlie? Once. One. Right? Now, pay attention to this. When you said 5 goes into 6, I want you to realize that 6 is in the tens place, correct? And when you take five times one, that is five, which is in the tens place. Now that five right there that's in the ten place means that you have 50. So think about this. What you're supposed to do next is you're supposed to subtract six times five. What you're actually doing is taking 60, subtract 50, which gives you a one, which is that 110, right? And then you bring down your next column, which is the five, right? And you have 15. I want you to realize when you took 5 times 1, you were really saying, hey, I have 50, and 65 take away 50 is 15, leaving us with how much remaining, Charlie? 50. 15, those three fives over there. That's what you're doing. Kung Fu. Anyway, and so now, 5 goes into 15 how many times, Charlie? 3 times. 3, so you put 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 subtract 15 is 0. zero. So the answer, 65 divided by 5 is 13 with a remainder of 0. Now, you will not learn this stuff if you're sitting there with a the calculator and pushing this, all the buttons here. You don't want to become one of those calculator kids. Try doing it without a calculator. Use the calculator as a tool, as a tool to check your answers, okay? All right, so we're having so much fun. Let's do another one. Let's take 69 and let's divide 5 into it. This should be easy. Here we go. Well, 5 goes into 6 1 times. 1 times 5 is 5. Remember, this is a 10, so it's actually 50. And 60, subtract 50, is 1. That's a 10, right? 6 subtract 5 is 1. You bring down your 9. So there's 19 left over now. And 5 goes into 19 how many times, Charlie? 3 times. 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. 19 subtract 15 is how much, Charlie? Four, 4, and we write that as 13 with a remainder of 4. So 69 divided by 5 is 13. Remember, 5 times 13 is 65 with the remainder of how many units, Charlie? Four, 4 units. So there you go. There's your introduction to division. So we've got to get through this basic arithmetic <sighs> before we move on in this course. And when we move on, we're going to get to that big time. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.